Hello everyone, this is Vignesh from EGS Computers India Private Limited. This session is completely about SOLIDWORKS inspection. How this software will be helpful to create auto generation balloons and inspection reports within a very few minutes of time. So this inspection is used to create the first article inspection report. So 85% of our customers are doing this first article inspection report manually that is they used to manually type each and every excel sheets and also used to manually create those balloons so by doing this errors and inconsistence occurs time and cost gets increased and the quality get affected for example consider a quality assurance inspector it takes me about two hours to balloon a drawing and another two hours to create an excel spreadsheet so by doing this manually, to obviously increase the more number of time to create these sheets. So how to solve this problem? So SolidWorks introduces a new product called as SolidWorks Inspection. It's a single software which consists of two user interface that is fully integrated SolidWorks add-in. So and the next thing is standalone application for non-SolidWorks users. So this standalone application can only work with PDF and TIFF files. So now we will show you one example. So this is a boom knuckle part which consists of various dimensions, GDNTs and nodes. So this actually works with the help of OCR that is optical character recognize used to capture all the dimensions by window selecting it. For example I am going to show how this actually works. So this is the project properties which consists of part name, part number, part revision like that. So this is the OCR symbol which you can capture the text. So by doing this you can see here automatically this part name appears here. So like that you can capture all the dimension GDNTs and notes. The next thing is characteristics. So actually SOLIDWORX inspection can capture all the dimensions, geometry tolerance, its notes, surface finish, weld, etc. You can see. So how this actually captures this dimension. So this OCR actually captures all the vertical, horizontal and rotational dimension. So it used to describe also the linear dimension, the type of the dimension, the units, the quantity, the value, the tolerances and also the upper limit and lower limit. You can also specify for whether it's a reference dimension or a basic dimension. You can also provide this information also such as whether what operation actually. You can also provide these informations. This is the method of measuring can also specify whether it's a key dimension or not and also you can change the appearance of that balloon according to a company standard you can change those balloon shapes and also the color of it so these are the qualities of OCR now you can quickly capture all the dimension so by doing this you can see all those tolerance and upper limit has been captured automatically So not only the linear diameter, it also capture angle dimension also. So you can see, I capture within a few minutes of time all the dimension. So not only the dimension, you can also capture the DD and D's as I said before.
so just by specifying the symbol the tolerances and the datum reference so like this you can capture all the dimension you can capture also the nodes you have to click that node tab and you have to window select that so automatically all the dimension nodes and GDNT will be captured using this OCR so on the balloon will be specified allotted for each and every dimension GDNT and tolerances so consider a drawing which consists of about 100 dimensions you may miss out any balloon to balloon it so in this SOLIDWORKS standalone application there is option called as height capture which actually hides all the ballooned feature and it shows only the unballooned entities so you can see here all the balloon feature get heights and the unballooned GDNT alone shown here so you can so by using this method you can reballoon it so that you may not miss a single entity also the next feature is consider a scenario if you have a revision for this drawing this is a revision C drawing consider you have a revision D you may have a question whether you have to capture again each and every dimension tolerances and nodes so it is not at all necessary so by using this standalone application you no need to capture again you have to recapture only those dimension that has been changed so that is the use of this inspection software so you can see here these are the new dimension for this revision so by clicking this the uh, previous dimension has a 45 dimension but now it has been changed to 47.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 so you can again reselect that so that 14 will be changed to this dimension so according to the revision it changes you can capture the vertical dimension also so these are the two dimension that has been included in this revision you can also compare the drawing as I did before you can save that compared drawing in a PDF file also the next thing is the grid consider a drawing consists of more than 50 dimension or 100 dimension you may you may want to know where that balloon actually lies so this provides those grid the characteristic zone where that balloon actually lies these all dimensions GDNTs and nodes has been captured in this table manager where you can see all the dimensions and the characteristic zone using those grid the quantities the units the values all the things the inspection methods which I have provided earlier the operation that has been created everything can be noted here the next important thing the important aspect of using this SOLIDWORKS inspection is measuring so how you are going to measure these dimensions in SOLIDWORKS inspection standalone you can actually do that by three methods that is you can enter the value manually or by using a digital instrument such as digi digital calipers like that just by measuring that value it gets automatically into that place the next thing is a CMM import method that is you can if you have a CMM you can import those CMM report in a, into a text format and you can import it here so automatically it auto, auto assigns all the characters and it generates the report so this is a measurement input can add n number of trials to it for example I'm going to measure this dimension so this is the first method as I said by entering manually so whether if you are using a vernier caliper like that 
I'm going to, I'm measuring it and getting a value as 30. If it is within limit, it will come in a green color. So for a second column I am going to, for a second trial I am again measure this value and getting it as 31.5. So it, it is out of range so it comes in a red color that is it get rejected. The next thing is I am going for the first trial I am getting a value as So this is a marginal. So these inspection standard alone used to give the result in the three forms of report. That is a marginal, a rejected one and a selected one. So you can show this result in the three colors. This is the first method. The second method is that if you have a digital instruments just by placing your cursor here then if you have, you have to plug those instrument with this workstation by measuring that automatically this measure value will be entered here so like that you can do that that is the second method the next is that you have to import the CMM data as I said before I have those CMM format that is in a text format I am just importing that into the standalone application. You can see all the CMM regarding this part, all the values will be appeared here. So just you have to auto assign it. Automatically it auto assigns with each and every characteristic here. So you can see here. All the values has been entered automatically. So this is the help of having the CMM measurement so as I said before there's a three types you can measure those values that is by entering the manual value then the next thing is using the digital instruments the third is by CMM import the next thing is how you will publish these balloons and inspection reports so soil docs inspection provides you with the uh, option called as PDF you can uh, export this with the help of PDF Excel and uh, within a single click you can also do that with the PDF and Excel the next thing is XML you can integrate your uh, reports and uh, balloon drawings for example I am giving this report in Excel format you can see all the templates will be inbuilt available in SolidWorks inspection that is AS9102, PPAP, Process Performance and if you have any other reports also you can import here and you can use that. So I am using the AS9102 and you can see how my reports actually looks. So no need for entering each and every value. My entire first article inspection report creates can view here each and everything that is you can see the characteristics designator the requirement that is whether it's a dimension everything will be captured here the units the all the limits and the result this result will be shown in the green red and yellow so no need for manual entering So these are the capabilities of using SolidWorks inspection standalone. So not only this, this standalone actually works with all the formats such as if you have AutoCAD drawing or ProE drawing. So it also works with other formats also. That is you have to provide which PDF you are using whether you are using a CATIA, AutoCAD, NX PDF means you have to specify that before entering into this drawing so I quickly summarize this presentation
So by using this PDF and TIFF files, what are all the benefits? So obviously you have this OCR, optical character recognize. So you can speed up the drawing and report creation process. So this supports only PDF and TIFF files. You can leverage your supply data. That is, I will show you now how this BOM can be easily imported into this. So by doing this manually, you can improve your quality, reduce error and reduce time to market. So powerful producti productivity tools. That is, you can hide or show the capture as I shown before. You can extract the BOM. I will show you that. And you can compare and replace drawing. This will be very helpful in the case of revision drawing if you have. You can easily compare and replace those drawings. So no need for re each and every dimension and tolerances. So there is an advanced filtering option also. So how you will validate these inspection reports? So you can streamline your ins inspection process completely and you can also save this template according to your company standard you can save that you can integration with the common measurement tools this standalone can be integrated with those measurement instruments and you can also have the go or no go visual feedback you can import your CMM results into this and you can create the detailed reports as I shown before you can create that reports also so how to import those those BOMs. So you can see here according to form 1, form 2, form 3 I have all these tabs so just by importing those excel sheet into it you can see all my part has been imported here you can see here value. so no need for typing each and everything so you can also do that so by just by giving this excel into a separate report you can see how my reports gets changed it also comes with the form 1 that is bill of materials so if you have the specification also you can create that so you can see the form 1 here so automatically all my reports has been created here in form 1, form 2 and form 3 so all the part, part name, the part serial number the FA report that is first article inspection report number so everything will be available so you can also customize this excel also there is an option called as template editor you can also customize this excel sheet according to your company standard so so what are all the key features and benefits of using this inspection that is time saving up to 90 percent so it's a very simple step within a four to five step you can create those inspection reports and auto generation balloons so it is a very easy process and it's a very easy to use little no training required so then the thing is meets all your inspection documents no need of what CAD software you are using that is it's a standalone application that is it can be used only with the help of PD and TIFF files so no matter what CAD software you are using so these are the benefits the next thing is you can improve time to market that is you can eliminate errors and inconsistencies create inspection packages and reports in one single click so it has all the templates for the inspection reports so no need for creating and comply with in the industry standards such as A1, AS9102 and PPAP etc publish to XML for integration and quality system so this can also be published in the XML format for the integration purposes the next thing is as I said the measurement values has been done through three methods that is you can type in the measured value can, you can use the digital caliper the next thing is import the results into a text format so all the formats will be available in this inspection standalone the next thing is you can highlight the dimension that is whether it's a green, yellow or red based on the result so we will conclude it with the report given by the technician that is even on a 6 or 7 sheet drawing with a couple hundred dimension at most it would take us 5 minutes so by using this software it only takes 5 minutes without this software it would have taken a technician a day to complete the same inspection sheet so obviously know that 
if you have a 7 to 10 sheets which has 100 dimension in each one it also takes uh, 2 to 3 days to create this but using this software you can create within uh, 5 minutes so thank you for attending this webinar if you have any queries please contact to this mail id thank you